Today we're going to learn how to use a Punnett square. A Punnett square is used to predict the outcome of an offspring from a particular parental cross. The Punnett square is used to determine the likelihood of an offspring having a particular genotype. Let's look at an example. First, we need two parents to determine the possible genotypes that will be inherited. We have the very handsome Ben Affleck. As you can see, he has no dimples. Then, his lucky wife, Jennifer Gardner. She has dimples. So our phenotype is dimples or not. From here we need to find out if dimples are dominant or recessive. Dimples are dominant and no dimples are recessive. We're going to represent dimples with big D and no dimples with little d. Now let's determine possible genotypes. Because Ben is recessive, it will be homozygous. Recessive. His genotype will be little d, little d. Jennifer Garner has dimples, so she will either be homozygous dominant or heterozygous. So she is either big D, big D, or big D, little d. Let's use big D, big D for our example, Punnett square. Here's our empty Punnett square. We're going, to, we're going to list Jennifer's genotype down the side. We're going to list Ben's genotype across the top, one allele per square. In the first square, we're going to drag Jennifer's allele into the square and drag Ben's allele from above into the square. The resulting genotype is big D little d. We're going to do the same thing in the second square. We'll get the genotype big D little d. We'll continue and do the same thing in the third and fourth square. They both result in big D little d. We can see that Benifer's possible offspring will have a 100% chance of having dimples. We can see this from Violet and Serafina's phenotypes. They both inherited the dominant trait. They both have dimples. Let's try another example. It turns out that excessive digits is a dominant trait. Having five, digit, five digits is the recessive trait. Here is our parents' genotypes. They both are heterozygous. You try filling in the Punnett square. Did you get this Punnett square? Good job. From this, we can see that an offspring from these parents would have a 3 to 1 chance of having an extra digit. We can use these simple Punnett squares to determine the likelihood of possible genotypes. However, they can get more confusing. Here's an example of a Punnett square with 16 possible genotypes. However, no matter how big they get, they still help scientists determine the likelihood of certain traits being inherited.